Welcome to the HyperMesh 2023 Quick Start for HyperWorks Legacy Professionals video series. It is meant for you, as a proficient user with the HyperWorks Legacy interface, to get efficiently introduced to the new user experience of HyperMesh 2023.0. This is video 1 of 6, introducing to page handling, the files menu, and model viewing. Window and page controls are now top right in the user interface, and top right per window. Note that now multiple HyperMesh windows can be opened in one session. What you know as user profile is now available as solver interface under files. The files menu of course offers import, export, and opening of files. File open HyperMesh file allows to read the binary files saved by legacy HyperMesh. Upon import of Solver DAX, you find the options for ID handling in the subcategory ID offsets. To make screenshots, use File Screen Capture. You may want to load the extension Demo, which brings you two buttons for screenshots on a demo toolbar. Extensions can be used to build your own toolbars, ribbons, and guide bars. In case you have owned scripted solutions, currently in TCL, you may want to look into moving these to extensions. Preferences allow to customize most of the user interface appearance and the behavior of tools. The mouse is now also customizable. However, we recommend keeping its basic settings to comply with the new selection methods. Model navigation through the mouse works now basically without control. Right mouse button to pan. Scroll wheel to zoom. Middle mouse button to rotate, with automatically set rotation center at the mouse position. Middle clicking with control pressed, sets a fixed rotation center. Control middle click in the background to reset it. Alt plus middle mouse drag offers circle zoom. Alt plus clicking the middle mouse button is auto fit. The cube offers view handling. You can save views by giving them a name. Display options like shading or coloring of geometry and elements, 3D or topology display are available in a similar location as in legacy HyperMesh. Don't miss to find where to turn on or off fixed points and load and element handles. This concludes the first of the six videos of the HyperMesh 2023 Quick Start for HyperWorks Legacy Professionals video series. The next video is about selection, mask, and the right click menu. Thanks for watching.